kalau cak this in the in the back mango inata in the back of this tree eh? uh, the princess silinton she planted this peachy by herself is about uh, 203 or 200 seedlings in this area it's about 20 years ago she start to establish a mangrove in this area she dressed the mangrove because of the king said the mangrove very important in the upper parts of the gardens of Thailand the mangrove destroyed so much by the people by the uh, maybe sheep farmer uh, many area is uh, no more mangrove particularly Rhizophora species, very important species for the charcoal making, but uh, uh, now it's uh, not many in the case of Thailand. So uh, he asked to grow the mangrove in the upper parts of the garden of Thailand. And after that two years, three years, the Princess Sillington, she studied mangrove. Uh, she studied with me also. After one year, she visited the mangrove in the southern parts of Thailand, I explained about the importance of the mangroves uh, and also the distribution of the mangrove species. After that, she come to this area. She uh, established mangrove in this area. And mangrove in this area is different from the other area. Because you will see when we re recover the mangrove, we recover in the abandoned chimp farm or in the uh, uh, deforestation area. That's, uh, that's degradation mangrove area, but here is a lighter. We, we call upforestation. Upforestation different from the reforestation. If re is mean the former time is a, is a mangrove forest and you cut it, you destroy for the chim farm not so long time and after that you plant it, it's, we call reforestation. And here upforestation is a is uh, mean that the uh, the forest or the mangrove this have long time destroyed and no more the mangrove in this area more than 15 years or 20 years or long time maybe uh, is this area uh, deposit by the sedimentation or the the sand sandy soil long time uh, maybe I don't know 20 years 30 years 50 years or 100 years is maybe mangrove already destroyed, no more. Like the, in the uh, in the Arabian Sea, like that, you see uh, two sides of the river is a sandy area. It's, we don't know it's that long time, maybe a mangrove, but deposit by the uh, sedimentation of the sand, so no more mangrove. When we try to recover again, in this area, or we try to grow the mangrove in this area, we call up forestation, A W F, A W F O R, up forestation. So we grow in the area. This uh, long time, no mangrove. Here also, uh, Princess Rinchon, she take the sandy soil out of the area and deposit in the coastal area until to the layer of the muddy soil. When uh, to the layer of muddy soil, and she grow the mangrove in this area. This uh, this uh, the first area. This is a uh, very successful mangrove up forestation. Not so many area. How thick was the sandy layer here? Uh, this uh, maybe depend on the area. Some is uh, maybe fifty centimeter. Uh, some area two meter. Lighter in some area. Uh, so they when take it out until to the radio. So the uh, difference of the rate of inundation or the seawater copper in this area is different, depend on the area. So if the higher area, this we can uh, we, we can grow the exical calia colocha in the back mangrove. If the lower, lower is we can grow the rhizophora, mucronata, or the avicennia species, or the pioneer species. We have the pioneer species. Pioneer species usually grow in the new mudflat area or soft muddy area, uh, like the you can see in the coastal area. Uh, uh, if you planted the mangrove in the very soft muddy area, maybe mangrove cannot grow. You can enjoy plant planting, but uh, the 
the successful of the bankrupt party is not success because of in that area is not suitable for the uh, uh, regeneration natural regeneration of the mangrove. If you see in the coastal area, you see the 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 seedlings seedlings is, uh, distribute is can grow. It means that that area you can grow the mangrove. Yeah, by the uh, select the stubborn species or pioneer species. If you grow the back mangrove in the mud flat, you cannot. You cannot grow; it not success because mangrove is grow in the different zonation, not like the land forest. Land forest you grow mixed species also, but the mangrove we have the zonation, like in the in the in the new mud flat is a, a vicinal species, zonation species. But in after that, uh, after the pioneer species is a rhizophora species or the red mangrove. Uh, and up in the uh, back part is the other species, Bugella or the uh, Silocapa species. So it grows in the mangrove, but uh, near, near, the, near the land area, usually you can grow mixed mangrove. The mangrove in the, in the, in the, in the soft muddy soil can grow in the hard muddy soil. But uh, in the hard muddy soil, you cannot grow in the soft muddy soil. It cannot grow because it's too low, and the uh, sea water cover is very high, more than the yuchuan. Uh, because usually it can grow in the, in the, uh, it grow in the very high uh, sea water cover. When we move to the back mangrove, it can grow. Yeah, this uh, in the back you can grow in the in the in the front you can grow in the back, but in back you cannot grow in the front. And, uh, this. Uh, this is a mangrove, uh, but, uh, but the rates of the growth, growth rate is uh, maybe not so good in the, in the in, in front mangrove to grow in the back mangrove. Uh, we move. <laughs> so. Of the, the big 
animals. Uh, make animals. It connect into the sea. You will see the crab, mud crab is come to stay here and lay egg in the ocean. Yeah, this, yeah. So it's, uh, this crab it eat the maybe the uh, her, uh, it, it eat the leaves of the mangrove. It's uh, decompose one, one of the com decomposer also. When they study the study of decomposer, what species is decomposer? And crab is eat the leaf of the mangrove. So it decomposes the young leaf of the mangrove. And after release is uh, when it release it become the nutrient or it die, it's become the uh, the, the, the nutrient of the coastal also. So so we study like this. <laughs> and then the pioneer species you see. grow very well, it can take the nutrient from the soil, uh, uh, take everything. If it's uh, no nutrient layer, no opium, no opium, no energy to work, uh, uh, it's the people who take the opium on time. Uh, uh, so the, when uh, same, this mangrove, if it's grow, we grow in the fresh water, it can, it can grow but very slowly and stop to grow after one meter. But uh, if, if uh, they have the uh, sun, salty water, this can grow, this can work, have energy and may release from the back of the leaves. Oh uh, yeah, it has a sun glass. You can take, you lick it, it will be salty. <laughs> salty taste. <laughs> Usually it depends on the, the size of the mangrove. Uh, we, we can uh, uh, maybe study from the remote sensing or study from the sonation of the mangrove. If the species of the rhizophora is a big area, uh, so you can make the trap, uh, sample trap, like the maybe about 100 uh, meters in the wall, like that. With the, the sonation. And so the density depends on the on the on the species also. If you have the uh, medium trap is not so not so high. We could establish transect or they could establish uh, quadrets, but for plants mostly we use quadrets. So every, say for every ten by ten meters square there'll be one meter, one by one meter for every corner. And that again depends on the Areas because some areas may be very large, as in the forest, uh, yeah, so you yeah. may have random plots again. It's random plots uh, because uh, uh, if the if we study from the remote sensing is very accurate, it's more than we make the uh, like usually we make the transect along the coast, yeah? maybe about the 100 meter is we can have the one plot uh, from it 10 by 10 right? to study about the. Maybe the species composition, yeah? the maybe the biomass of the area. We can study about the nature, natural regeneration, and maybe five by five. We study about the maybe the uh, the sapling is uh, higher, and the, the young seedling is uh, maybe uh, one by one meter for inside the ten by ten. This uh, we study, and also the for the little fawn this uh, depend on the. Maybe if, if we study in from the remote sensing, we, we, we save money. We will know that uh, uh, how is the area of the rhizophora, or how is the area of the rhizophora. And after that, we make a sample. When we calculate, because little for different amount is a uh, rhizophora, maybe not so high, but the uh, rhizophora is very high. Uh, a rhizophora, one kilogram per square meter per year and uh, Avicinia may be about 1.5 kilograms per meter. Come, come. <coughs> come more, no problem. This, uh, come more, no problem. <laughs> no problem because uh, below is water. <laughs> <laughs> below is water, no problem. Below is water, no problem. Can you see Vipari? Yeah. was there in the midterm exam. For us. Vipari.
จะต้องรอลงกับเขาเทิมนะพังไหมไม่พังดาวอีกแอนด์เดอร์โกรสัตว์เดลิโนนี่ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์ส์
Because we have the palace, palace, summer palace of the India, slowly some part of the story by the coastal erosion, so the global members support the budget to construct like this. Water flood, eh? yeah. even the heavy yeah. land, water flood, eh? yeah. oh, the traffic jam, eh? long time in the car, sometimes more than two hours, eh? too long time, very tired. Eh? So you stay outside Bangkok, that's okay. Eh? <laughs> Live inside is uh, unhappy, unhappy. Uh, unhappy also, this is my wife in Bangkok also. So I <laughs>